One of the tools that I use to ensure quality wheel builds is a spoke tension meter or tensiometer. This is a wheelsmith unit here. They call theirs the tensiometer, others call them a tension meter. Um, the wheelsmith is a very good unit. There's others that uh, are just as good, serve the same purpose. Uh, basically what it does is measure the deflection of the spoke and uh, tell you how much tension it's under. Now the tension uh, will be a value uh, set by the rim manufacturer as an ideal and you want to try and attain that as close to it as you can and also uh, attain even tension throughout the build. Now even tension can be checked by plucking the spokes and uh, listening for the tone that they make. If they make relatively close to the same tone, you can tell if the tension is relatively even. But that doesn't tell you what the actual tension value is. To uh, determine that requires some sort of a checking instrument, in this case a tensionometer. Now, the way that it works, uh, they all have some sort of a spring assembly in them, and what they do is actually check the deflection of the spoke, or measure the deflection of the spoke, the deflection will be uh, greater at lesser tension and lesser at a greater tension, naturally. So the meter will have some sort of a, uh, a graph reading or a dial indicator or uh, some means of taking a reading off it. The reading off the meter really doesn't mean anything other than just that. It's a reading. To make any sense of it, we have to go to a calibration chart, compare that reading to um, the line on the particular gauge of spoke or type of spoke that we're checking. In this case a 2.0 millimeter or a 14 gauge spoke. We get a reading of 80. That uh, tells us that we have 100 kilograms of force on the spoke. In this case that's the target uh, for this build. But like any precision instrument, a tensiometer must be recalibrated from time to time. To do that, uh, you could send it back to the manufacturer, have them recalibrate it. Uh, that's very costly, time-consuming. Uh, you pay shipping two ways. You pay a fee to have it calibrated, and uh, plus you're without your your uh, machine for a while. So I've decided to uh, design and build my own unit. So I'll take you through what I'm uh, about to do here. Now the heart of this unit will be this electronic digital scale. It has a capacity of 200 kilograms, so it's just right for this application. Very compact and uh, will mount very nicely in a steel frame, which I'm going to fabricate now. Well, here's the frame, all painted and uh, mounted to the work table. The, uh, the holes for the hardware are drilled, so it's just a matter of installing it. This is the completed unit, all assembled. A threaded uh, hook fed through the top here with a, a long uh, threaded shank on it, so that it gives us lots of adjustability so we can uh, do shorter spokes and a threaded eye at the bottom, uh, two U-bolts, and a uh, plate on the U-bolt, and I've drilled uh, through the plate and chamfered it for spoke nipples on both ends. I've threaded both ends of a 14-gauge spoke, and that will be my uh, test spoke for calibrating to a 14-gauge, and I also have a 15-gauge here that I've done the same thing, threaded both ends, put a nipple on each end. And uh, for any other specialty spokes that uh, anyone wants me to uh, calibrate their machine for, um, if they supply me with a spoke, I can rig it so that uh, I can calibrate it to that particular spoke. All right, so now it's time to fire this thing up and give it a test run. Now when we turn on the scale, it will automatically uh, set its tear to zero. So we have to be sure that there is no uh, 
load on the scale when we turn it on. So it has to be it has to be zeroed at zero. So we'll remove any uh, load from the scale, turn it on, check that we're uh, registering kilograms, and then we're ready to put some tension on the spoke. Okay, so we load tension on the spoke by tightening one of the eye bolts, either top or bottom, doesn't matter which. All right, so with a reading, I've got 50.3 kilograms showing on the on the scale. So we'll take a meter reading with that the other way so I can read it. And we got a reading of 55 and refer to the original calibration chart and a reading of 55 on a 14 gauge spoke was 51 kilograms so um, it has not changed significantly at uh, that particular tension. So I just took a reading at 100 kgs and I got a meter reading of 80 which is exactly what the calibration chart shows from when this machine was new so uh, that indicates to me that this thing has not changed its calibration significantly over all that use that it's had over the nine years or so that I've had this tensiometer. So there it is. New homegrown tool added to the arsenal. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.